say, well, Pastor Burson, anyone can become poor. Yes, anyone can become poor. But you know what? God is going to take care of the righteous person. People could lose everything. And God will make sure that that person is taken care of where you don't have to beg for bread. Elijah didn't have to beg. God took care of Elijah in a famine when everybody was poor. Okay, the righteous don't have to beg. Now look, listen to my sermon on Wednesday because I don't want to re-preach this entire sermon because I do believe in giving and I do believe in helping people and I do believe in having compassion on people and, and, and helping out those that are poor and yes, giving financially, giving money to help people in need. But we need to consider the cause and not be swindled by crooks and wicked people that are out there that are just coming in to get a free handout and they're bums. And this was a well able body man and you know what he is? He's a stinking bum. And he deserves nothing. And I gave him an opportunity. Look, it's Sunday morning. You're worried about a car battery it's Sunday morning, you walked into a church, and instead of walking in and worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ, you tell me, oh, I know the Bible. If you know the Bible, then why are you forsaking the assembling? That's right. That's right. And I've said this before, you know, I don't make these promises as if, well, if you stay here, I'll give you this much money. I want to see where their heart is. Because I am willing to help people out, especially if they're going to say, you know what? Yeah, I really ought to be in church right now. And if that man would have said all those things, even though he's a liar or not, like I didn't know I got that extra information, you know, I, I pretty much thought he was. But as soon as I, you know, it's like you hear these stories over and over again, you try to give people the benefit of the doubt. But if you see someone's heart is in the right place and you're trying to do what's right, great. But if you don't have that right, no amount of money is going to help you. And if you run across this guy, it's another reason why I'm bringing it up. Don't give him anything. If he accosts you in the parking lot, say, get out of here. You're not welcome here. Amen. You get your heart right with God. If you want to come to church, you are welcome to come to church. But do not be just asking a bunch of people for money here because that's not what we do. You need to get right with God and then see if God's going to help you. Because right now, you're under the chastisement of God. Well, the guy's not even saved, so he's, you know, he's not a son being chastised. These guys, because you know what we try to do? We try to give people the gospel because that's way more, again, that's way more important even than the money. But he didn't want to listen. He didn't want to learn. He doesn't want to do the right thing. So guess what? You're not going to get any help. 